for attending, um, for these wonderful kids that are behind me. We've uh, been working for the last couple of hours, and they've been working for several, several weeks on stuff like Kookaburra, which is a fun song, elementary song to do. Our next one we're doing is in a foreign language, and it is a, 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 a kutambu, a kutambu, which is a little red dragonfly. So the, this is from a poem by Rafu Miki, uh, and when he was 12 years old, he wrote this poem. Uh, and so it says, little red dragonfly resting, waiting on the end of a bamboo pole. So I looked up a little bit on this, and the song uses the imagery of red dragonflies to invoke nostalgic feelings of the past, and of course, for old country home. And it says here, prompts longing for feeling all mothers in our childhood, which I think is a really neat addition since we have Mother's Day coming up. So this is Little Red Dragonfly.
myself. Uh, first of all, my name is Aaron Childress. I'm the choir director at the high school. Uh, very honored to have all of these kids here today. Uh, and can we give a big round of applause for the elementary music teachers that put all of this together? <laughs> Our next song is called This Train, or Get On Board This Train. It's a combination of two spirituals, Get On Board and This Train. So they kind of combine them. This is, uh, I hope you enjoy together. I want to thank a few people and uh, most importantly I want to thank uh, four very special teachers that kind of brought us all together this evening and um, I, I'm going to ask them to kind of come on out. They're probably like no, but too bad you need to come on out. Anyways, <laughs> I do want to make sure that we recognize each of the schools and their teachers. Uh, if you hold your applause for the end uh, when all four come out that would be great. Uh, we have from Lincoln we have Gracia Gormom. Um, from Andrews, we have Catherine McElhaney. From Salamone, we have Doug Hofer. And from Flint Springs, we have Emily France. Please give these wonderful teachers a round of applause. setting that I, I, I couldn't do my job if it wasn't for wonderful educators like this. Uh, they make it so much easier for us at the middle school and the high school. And it's just exciting to kind of see some of these kids and get to meet them uh, for that. And that reminds me of a plug that I'd like to do. Uh, we are signing up for sixth grade, both at Crestview and at Riverview, for incoming students for choir and for band. If you haven't seen any information come home from either of those schools, please contact one of us via email, um, hccschools 
and uh, just one of those, and get with us or speak with us this evening, uh, we'd be more than happy to see that your kids are signed up so they can continue their music education here in Huntington Schools. We have a fine high school program, and the only way we're going to keep that high school program going is if we have these kids going into it. So we're super excited to have those. Um, the next set of people I'd like to thank um, are going to be our people running the sound and the high school auditorium director, which is Marie Kistler. Please give her a round of applause. Thank you. For the use of this facility, which is awesome, Taylor Sprinkle, which is the Riverview Band director. She's helping, she was helping out with sound. Um, to my right, is Mr. Nash Flanagan, and he's gonna be on the Jajimba for our next piece. He is the band director at Crestview. And round of applause, please, thank you. And Ms. Emily, Ms. Emily, Ms. Emily France, she's gonna be playing, she's from Flint Springs, she's gonna be playing piano. Our next last piece is about unity. And it's, I can't, you know, when I was out here earlier, we the kids, and yeah, I'm old, so I get kind of teary-eyed. It was just a blessing. You know, it's been kind of a, we're at the end of school, so it's like one of those days. And it was such a blessing to sit out there and watch these kids rehearse uh, and hear them sing. I can't tell you uh, how that lightened my heart today. And I'm so thankful, I'm like, yay! I was just so excited that this is going on, and I thank the teachers that put this together. I'll go in because I know they're getting antsy behind me. But um, this is CC Nemoja, and it is about We Are One.
I want to give one more quick thank you to the middle school and high school directors for giving their time and talents tonight. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Franz from Flint Springs for sharing her piano talent this evening. I'd like to thank all the elementary building administrators and the transportation department for making this event possible. Lastly, I'd like to thank you, parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and everyone out there um, for your support of these students in their music education. Now the students have to return to the band and choir rooms to get their backpacks. They'll then come back out on stage with their teachers and their, their school. So when you see your student, please try to head over to them and their teacher to get them signed out. Thank you so much. Yeah.